Sadly, the American people aren't um, aren't given the full facts of the truth of what has been going on, especially in the last 20 years since 2000 forward, but all the way back. Mm -hmm. What really is true is that Kissinger and Rockefeller and Soros and all the people that are the Bushes that invited the CCP yeah. into the United Nations and into the WTO, the, right, and yeah. into the World Trade Organization. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. Okay. And and Kissinger wrote a book. Mm -hmm. Kissinger is still very active. Uh, Trump tried to remove him. Uh, he's back, uh, very active. You know, they're all meeting at Davos this yeah. week. Mm -hmm. And I think we really have to realize that the mm -hmm. American people have not been given the facts and truth about the la the endless wars of the last, since, you know, World War II on, yeah. even before that, mm -hmm. and what has been going on and yeah. where it all meets at the top, which is, I believe, this globalist elitist class, yeah. which Xi Jinping and, and his and his group and his yeah. uh, the CCP is very much involved. And we had Klaus Schwab not that long ago yeah. uh, praise Xi and how he's running China and saying that uh, China should be the model for the rest of the world as they are promoting something called global governance. Yeah. If you say one world government, new world order, you're going to be called a conspiracy theory. If you go to all of their websites yeah. and look up global governance, yeah. that is exactly what they're doing. Yeah. And they would like to use the model that they placed in communist China mm -hmm. to uh, control the entire world. And that means track and trace surveillance like they already have. Yeah. That means digital currency that yeah. you can turn off, programmable tokens. Yeah. You know, they're talking about the central bank digital currency. It's not that. Yeah. What it is is controllable uh, tokens that they will use ESG scores, social yeah. credit score. Everything that is implanted in China's China is coming, uh, is coming here yeah. if we don't stand up and realize. So I think the biggest problem right now in America is the blackmail and bribery that is having our politicians uh, completely uh, work for the CCP and the multinational. This is also about the multinational corporations that, have, that are all over the world and the um, the international banking cartel. <laughs> and so it, uh, all I'm saying is that that's a very small group of people, folks. Yes. It's not. It's we, the people of all of our nations getting together and saying no more is the thing that they are most afraid of. And all of the elitists from the world, the oligarchy mm -hmm. that get together at these at these conferences, these meetings, these COP or mm -hmm. or the Davos or whatever they're doing. Yeah. But they've had them in China and they sit there and they, they say that they somehow were anointed, not by God, not by the people, but by themselves, <laughs> to decide for the rest of the planet. And the rest of the planet, honestly, has the power. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To say no. Our freedom, yeah. our money, mm -hmm. and our children's futures have been stolen from us. And the yeah. American people are still waiting for somebody to come save them. Nobody's yeah. coming. Yeah. We, the people of the United States, have to yeah. join the people, the free people of China, and the free people of humanity, and say enough's enough. Yeah, enough is enough. And you talk about in Washington, D.C., there's no Democratic Party or Republican Party, no left and the right. There's one unity when it comes to the CCP's influence yeah. and infiltration. And um, so at, I think that goes as high as the uh, RNC, the Republican National Committee's uh, finance chair. <laughs> Elliot Brody, Stephen Wynn, they were the big donors to the RNC, and they claim to be Republicans. And look at them, and they have been indicted by the DOJ for the fire violation. They've been taking money from the CCP, and they're doing the CCP's dirty bidding in the United States of America. They're trying to uh, lobby the Trump's White House and DOJ in CCP's attempts to return Mr. Mao's war back to China. And so now, the uh, uh, Elliot uh, Brody, I mean, he, he has been pardoned, and Stephen Wen, he refused to register himself under the DOJ's FARO program. And let alone, there are like hundreds of hundreds of American top law firms who have been retained and hired and bought out by the CCP to work in America's courthouses, to work in America's justice system, and they're defending the CCP's right to destroy America.